Today, the Pfizer vaccine for kids 5 to 11 reached its final step before approval. The CDC Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices has signed off on it. We are still waiting on full approval from the CDC director. Alex Love joins us now live after speaking with elementary school teachers about the potential emergency use authorization. Alex, what are you hearing? You know, Adam, this is the news that educators we spoke with and their colleagues have been waiting to hear for weeks now. Allowing their students K through fifth grade to get access to the to Pfizer's COVID vaccine not only is another key layer of protection for their health, it also lowers the chances of them having to quarantine out of school. After clearing all FDA regulations last week with a unanimous vote for approval of their child size vaccine doses, Pfizer has brought the same data to the Center for Disease Prevention and Control, which local teachers believe can save the lives of their vulnerable colleagues. We do have teachers who are older, and we definitely have a lot of teachers who are immunocompromised um, for various reasons, health concerns. So they have been unable to get vaccinated themselves. Having students were also immunized then that would help protect not just the students, but the teachers as well. In Pfizer's study, around 3,100 kids received their dose, a third of the size those 12 and up get, and the results showed a 90.7% effective rate against catching COVID-19, the strongest weapon to keep kids in the classroom. When we see kids that are not in school, we know they're not learning as much. And even with the ones in person, uh, when you have a concern about your health, it, it puts a sort of unease in the situation. Infectious rates for this age group are still lower than adults, but kids 5 through 11 make up 39% of all COVID-19 cases in minors, with more than 8,000 from this age group hospitalized from the disease. Educators argue these dangers can die down drastically if eligible students get their vaccine. It takes time away from the other things that we could do. So if... We have the opportunity to return to a normal educational environment. It would just be for the betterment of all the students involved. There have been over 140 students in this age group that have died from COVID-19 since the pandemic began. Once fully approved, Pfizer believes they can send out doses all over the country by the end of this week. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thank you. And doctors urge parents of 11-year-olds not to wait until they turn 12 to take the adult-sized dose. Experts say the smaller dose is just as effective.